T'was a week before Christmas, and all through the land, all citizens were worrying about a possible gun ban. Hello, everybody. This is Ragnall JL here. Just wanted to give you an interesting story uh, that occurred with me this week. Um, as you may not know, I am new to the world of firearms. And so, I've only been able to accumulate a couple of guns, both 22 of them. And this week I went and I needed some ammo. Uh, some 22 long rifle ammo. So I went through, went out looking for some. Uh, when I stopped a couple places, couldn't find much of anything. I stopped at my local Gander Mountain and I was able to find this value pack of federal ammo for 20 bucks but this is the last box that they had pretty much all their other 22 long round long rifle rounds were gone and a good majority of their other ammunition was gone too what is the most interesting thing about it is is the place the gun counter was packed um, and so it's been that way for every place that I checked that had that sells firearms the guns local gun stores and every place that sell firearms or ammunition or anything they've been packed ever since the shooting in Connecticut due to the talk of possible gun ban which is very interesting because it's they're talking about a gun ban but they're selling more guns than ever um, so after I picked up my ammunition I went up front to go and pay for it I got up front and I got to the register and the gentleman that was helping me first words out of his mouth were Oh wow, they still have ammunition back there. And so we got into a little conversation. I said, I told him, yeah, there wasn't much in the way of ammunition. Um, you know, not much of selection. He was telling me that they try to, they've been trying to order more ammunition and weapons, and everything is on back order for, for them. This is Gander Mountain, a major company, and everything is on back order. They can't order any more guns or ammunition. So that's kind of interesting. And it shows just how much people are afraid of this gun ban. And how ineffective the ban will actually be because they've essentially put guns in the hands of many, many more new gun owners. But that's one of the, the interesting stories that I want to tell you. I just found it kind of comical. Um, uh, beyond the gun ban, ban, I just wanted to give you an update on my paracord work. I have gotten some more uh, different color paracords and tried a few other um, styles. This one is my double core Cobra Weave that I made. Uh, it's black and tan. And it's a little wider than your average Cobra. Um, but I like it a lot, actually. It's double core. I like how it's wider. So that's that. And then the newest one that I've tried. And I really like this one. I think I had one bad stitch in here somewhere, but this is the newest one I tried. And this is the Jagged Ladder Rack. That is, um, this is probably my favorite so far, actually. Even though it's not as wide, I would like it to be wider. It is a very nice-looking bracelet. Um, and it kind of gives you a three-dimensional quality as the jaggedness in here, the ladder, sits down inside. I don't know if you can see that. But it sits down inside, whereas the black on the outside kind of makes a wall, walls, if you will. I really like them. 
Um, if you want any videos on how to make them, um, I know Mr. Coop 1967. Uh, that's where I get most of my inspiration from. And then there's also Tying It All Together, both two good channels. Um, I'm going to be working on a... King Cobra uh, here shortly. i just trying to figure out what colors I want to use. And I've also got more paracord coming, so it's going to make it a little harder because I'm going to have a bunch of different colors to use. Um, and I probably will not get another video up before Christmas, so if, if I don't, everyone have a Merry Christmas. And enjoy. Hope you get everything you want and you spend time with your family because that's the important part. Family and friends are precious. This is Ragnall JL signing off. Bye.